thank you, Madam Chairman, and uh, ladies and gentlemen, ladies, being the Two secretary, of us and your both of you, <laughs> and um, um, it's it's it. It came to our attention months, months ago when uh, Mr. Jones brought it forward that uh, there was some contention about whether or not we should hire a planner and whether or not we should keep a planner and 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 um, so we did some legal research and we looked at our RSAs and we um, as as your chairman has probably already spoken to you about earlier, we can't discuss the, uh, the confidential memorandum from the town attorney, but we are in fact, as a planning, uh, as a planning board, we are enabled to hire staff. And I have in front of me the New Hampshire Planning Use, Planning and, and, and Land Use Regulations 2013 through to 2014, and they go back several years, as I have been on the board for a few years now. I have I read them regularly just to see if there's any updates. And it's been in there for some time that if a planning board needs to, they can hire staff. Now, whether or not the Budget Committee wants to budget for that position, that's a whole other issue. However, we do have the authority to hire staff. The fact that you did have some um, some votes in the past, which I do have the articles, and I and I and I know what the votes were and and how they were presented, it's kind of a slippery slope. Um, it's not necessary for us to put it on the ballot that we hire staff. It's a municipal. If for some reason somebody decided to put that on there as a budgetary item. Um, in addition to that, I, I know what the votes were each year and believe it or not, they got better and better to a point where they were within 5% of saying yes. <coughs> not that that matters. The voters do vote. But out of 3,400 votes on the last um, the last vote that was taken, it was 1694 yes and 1828 no. So there was 3,522 votes and 134 said no. And so it didn't go forward. And at that point, although I wasn't on the board at that point, the town manager went ahead and did what he did. Um, as far as the planning the planner is concerned. I can tell you that it's 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 a necessary position. Um, last week's agenda, May seventh, we had literally ten public hearings, as well as a couple of people that were just to be heard and correspondence and minutes and everything that you all do. And um, so. Some weeks we have more, some weeks we have less. This week we only have four or five, um, depending upon whether or not they all show up. Because every now and then they call at the last minute and say, can you put us off for a week or two? Um, basically, when somebody comes into town and wants to do something, whether it be a single home or, or a condominium project or whatever it is that they want to do, they need to speak to somebody. And we can't ask Fred Welch or any town manager to take that under his wing and do it in a timely manner that makes sense for all parties concerned. As far as the RPC, I've watched your meetings several times. Um, you guys get more air time than we do because you meet once a month, I guess. I don't know, but um, we meet every two weeks, the first week of when the first Wednesday of the month and the third. And um, I've watched them. And I've heard your concerns, and I've thought about them, and um, the PRC meetings are things that we created a year and a half ago in order to streamline the system so that when you come in and you want to build something, whether it be a single-family home or any type of development, the old way was you had to come in and talk to us and then we'd send off the plans and then you'd come back and talk to us again and then we'd send off the plans and you'd we eliminated all of that. We got it down to where there's one meeting, 
these are the plans. Let's talk about them with the Department of Public Works, the Fire Department, the the, uh, the Police Department, um, the Conservation Commission, who we rely greatly on as far as wetlands and and um, and drainage and such, and and it's been working. And then they even have a second chance once everybody looks at their notes and decides that we have to change this, we have to change that. They go back and then we have a second meeting and by the time they end up at the planning board meeting, 80% of the problems have been solved. And then at that point, we look at it and we say, well, we want to know where you're going to put your sto snow storage and we, you know, what are you going to do for um, refuse and, and such. So a town planner is very, very, very important, especially in a town that we live in that is growing and unfortunately you can't you, you, you can't close your eyes and say there's not going to be any more growth here because clearly we're a destination there's people here that want to come here there's land that's buildable but we need somebody that, that can say this is the right way to do it and this you can't do and we can't ask every department head from everywhere to chip in all at the same time and do it in a timely manner so a town planner is very, very important for this town, and they're all over the state. You'll look at towns smaller than us, they have town planners. Um, our, our administrative assistant, Laura Olivier, is, is overwhelmed with work. Um, she's doing a wonderful job, but she's overwhelmed, and it's a lot. And so Fred Welch and Mark, our attorney, um, the attorney for the town, have all chipped in to try to take the load off of their, her shoulders. And we are just like you as a planning board, but just like you, we're volunteers. We don't get paid. We, we come here to serve the public and to do the public in the right way, to, to serve the public's interest, if you would. And um, without the help of a town planner, and a town, uh, the, the administrative assistant and whoever else right now might be stepping in, we wouldn't be able to do that. We're all, you know, we, we, we might know a little bit about this part of land use or this part of land use, but we don't know at all. The other people do. They're professional. They get paid to do it, and that's what they do. Um, so I guess my point is I'll be happy to entertain any questions that you have and I'll also share my, my book with whoever wants to. However, tomorrow I do have a planning board meeting so you'll have to wait until Thursday and you can, you can look up whatever you want in this book. It may be available at the library, I'm not sure. But it comes from the New Hampshire Office of Energy and Planning from Concord, New Hampshire. And um, it clearly states that we can in fact hire staff to do what we think is in the public's best interest. And um, we didn't do it back in those days when it was done, but somehow it was done, and now we have a situation where we need him or her, and there's questions being brought up about ballot questions. Valid as they may be, I agree. Voters should have the say. However, we're at a point where we've gone beyond that. We're at a point now where if we don't move forward and we don't do what we're supposed to do, we're disservicing the public and not helping them. So I'm open to questions and